Hey everybody, so my husband and I worked on our first big project this weekend. We had somebody build us a, a hall tree or a modern farmhouse a mud bench, I guess you could call it. Anyways, uh, we got the plants from another YouTuber by the name of Shanti Tashik and I will link them below so that you can go out and check their video if you'd like. They also have free plants on there. Um, I used the same hooks they used and I used the same decorative hardware they used. Um, I'll also link those down below if you're interested. The only difference was I painted mine uh, white, but I'm super, super happy with uh, the way it came out. Uh, like I said, we painted it with some Kills chalk paint in white and sanded it a little afterwards. Um, and of course, I'll, I'll post um, or you'll see it afterwards. So I'm very excited uh, to show y'all guys and to see for y'all to see how it came out. So, all right, let's get started. So here we're just doing the sanding and I didn't want to bore y'all guys with, you know, all of the sanding because in all honesty, it took like an hour. Um, actually, no, it took... <laughs> A long time probably like a good hour two hours to do all the sanding and I started off by myself um, but my husband did end up helping me so that's what you're actually seeing here and um, we you know like I said we sanded everything and we just used a regular sanding block by hand because we do not have the tools for that um, yet but you know eventually we'll we'll get one I'm sure because we'll probably want to do some more projects so but yeah, it's it was really long and I just wanted to shorten it up and spray out guys all of that hard, hard work that it, it did take. So, um, but of course, you know, we sanded it and, and started on the top and then, you know, went, worked our way down and that's kind of what you see here. And then afterwards, I've, of course, I dusted it off. So anyways, like I said, wanted to spray out guys all of that. So um, enjoy the rest of the video. So this is real life. I got to the last one and started nailing it in crooked. And now I mess it up right there. And um, yeah, so he's actually having to straighten it out for me <laughs> right now so that I can nail it back in. Yep. Real life, guys. Real life. Got enough. it. Straight enough. Yeah, that's better than earlier. Okay, let's see if we can get it in this time. It's in the um. Anyway, so I just want to show you how easy it is to put these in. I actually started nailing this in already, but I'm almost done with it. Anyways, but like I said, it's just the finishing finishing touch to these. So, yep. And when I'm completely done with hooks and all, because as you can see, I got one up, but not the rest of them. I will show you the finished product. So, um, this is the finished product. I'm so 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 in love with it. Um, it this just first of all so this haul tree cost about 50 to 60 dollars i believe to build um like i said we did not build it but it cost about 50 to 60 dollars to build and there are free plans on their website in case anybody is interested but i am so in love with this i don't have as you can see i don't have a huge entryway here but it's still a a good size and i'm still really happy with it um this is actually the wall that i put it on here but I can't really show it to you against the wall because it kind of, you know, doesn't show the whole thing. But like I said, this is a finished product. I'm super, super happy with it. I'm so in love with it. Um, okay, I will. Um, 
These are the hooks that we used from Walmart. Ooh, and so just so you know, it, you can actually kind of still see some markings on there because we had to re measure and re-measure for the hooks, but I still gotta clean those up. Anyways, um, these hooks were five hooks. They were $30, but I believe they've gone on clearance for like $14, $15 is what I bought them for. Um, in case anybody's interested, this uh, wreath here is from Hobby Lobby. It's uh, normally $10, but you know, 50% off, five bucks. And then this is uh, my little Magnolia bag, which I got when I went to um, Magnolia back last, uh, last September. Um, and then I have been, I have been um, just, you know, buying little things for this here and there, saving. I bought this cute little pillow that I love so much. Um, this was like, actually, no, I'm sorry. Somebody bought this pillow for me um, as a little uh, housewarming gift. Um, I think it was like $5 at Dollar General. It was a while back. And then these are, move back, please, move back, sweetie. These are the decorative um, tacks that I was talking about. So they come two to a package. And um, like I said, they were $2.49 each. Sorry about the lighting, but they're super, super cute though. And so easy to put in, as you'll see in the, as you see in the video, it's super easy. The last thing I want to show you here that he cannot wait for me to show you is just the little baskets. These I purchased from Target. They were five bucks each. But shoes in here. these are, yes, these are for their shoes. So I'm not too sure if I want to keep these. I actually, I do like them, but I actually want to, um, they got like a little faux wood handle here. Or I'm sorry, not faux wood, faux leather, leather handle, which I, I really think is cute. But, um, I'm not sure if I really want to keep those. I really would like some um, like woven baskets to put in there. I think that would look a lot more cuter. Um, but like I said, this is our haul tree. When we come in, we sit there if we want, take our little shoes off, put them in the basket, set our purse down. Um, my husband, he has a, carries a backpack with him. He sets his backpack down. <sighs> um, haul tree, mud room, bench, whatever you want to call it. I modern actually I think they call it a modern hall tree is what it's called but either way so so in love with this um so happy the way it came out like I said we did about three coats and we did try to sand I did try to sand it a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look um and I I think I'm okay with the way it came out I probably could have came out better, but like I said, this was my first big time, first big project, and I really needed help with these hooks. My husband had to, I was able to put this one on, but that was it. My husband had to put the rest of them on for me because I did not measure out very well. So anyways, um, that's why you see this here, but we still gotta fix that, so excuse that there. But other than that, I'm just super, super happy with the way it came out, so. Yep, that's the final product. Um, anyway, so yes, what do you want to say? Subscribe. So if you like, like what y'all see, um, yes, I welcome y'all to subscribe to uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, please give it a thumbs up, whatever you do to show your love, um, and that's it. We'll see y'all guys. We'll see y'all guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.